Bonjour Genie Engineers, welcome to my Palm A Day series. In this video, we're going to do a problem on engineering economics. We're going to calculate the future worth giving two deposits at a different time. It's a really interesting problem. This is important for the FE civil, mechanical, other disciplines, or if you're just taking engineering economics class. Now, if you're for the first time and you just want to learn about engineering or just how to engineer a better life, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now let's get started. Okay guys, so this question is a little bit more difficult than what we previously did, but I still found it really easy, straightforward. That's how I found engineering econ problems are in general. As long as you know your cash flow diagrams, I think you should be set. Okay, so the question is, a company is planning to set aside $100,000 today and $150,000 a year from now. Now, this is just in case if their heating and cooling system breaks down and needed to be replaced. Uh, they deposited this for an interest rate of 8% per year. So let's say four years from now, they didn't need to replace their heating and cooling system. And so how much will the company have in their account from those two deposits? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is the cash flow diagram, just like we did previously. Uh, so let's do cash flow diagram. It's like statics with free body diagram. You can't really solve anything till you draw the free body diagram. Okay, so let's start drawing our inflow and outflow so that we can kind of have an idea of what we're trying to calculate for. Okay, so today we're depositing $100,000, right? And that's going to be an arrow downwards because we're putting it aside, we're depositing it, that's an outflow. So we have $100,000. Now that's year zero. Now at year one, which is next year, we're going to deposit $150,000. So we have an interest rate of 8% and we want to find this value, the future worth value four years from now after depositing these two uh, values right here. First thing is, like usual, let's get the equations that we need to solve for this. So on page 135, we have equations here. We want to convert to F given P. So let's write it down. So I have F, so we have P times uh, F over P for F to P. We have the interest rate, we have N years, plus we're going to have two values because we have two deposits, right? So, and they're going to be slightly different, which you guys will see why. So I have another P, F over P, then I have I percent, and then we have N. Now, uh, like I mentioned in the previous video, if you use either one of these equations, you should get the same answer. It just uh, comes down to a matter of time, if you have the time to calculate this during the exam, and also if you are given the interest rates that's on the table. If it's not given to you, then you have to use these equations. So it's just really a matter of um, the conditions that you are in. Okay, so present worth, so let's do it for the first one. So I have $100,000 and we have F2P, Interest rate is 8% and number of years is 4, right? Because it's 4 years ago I deposited. Okay, now for the second one, it's going to be a little bit tricky in terms of number of years. So I still have F2P and we still have 8%, but this time we're just going to have 3 years instead of 4 years because I deposited 150000 a year later. Not today, but a year later. And that's why... Uh, it can be tricky. So this has to be three years. So now the only thing we have left is go to the tables for the 8% interest, look for the N4 and N3 and just substitute this equation but those by those values on the table. So let's go to the tables. So we have I is 8%, so we're going to keep going. So that's on page 141. We have I is equal to 8% and number of years we need three and four, and we are looking for F to P. So this is your F to P, so let's write it down. So I have $100,000 times, for four years, F to P is equal to 1.3605, plus I have 150,000 times, now for three years, we have 1.2597. So this is going to give you an answer of $325,000, and that's answer B. Also, just to keep in mind, for the multiple choice, sometimes you can just 
eliminate by just looking at them. And this is a really good practice to do before your test. So that way you can give, it gives you an idea of what the number should be at or what's the range. So it's really good to just keep it in mind. So looking at this, we already know that it cannot be answer A. It cannot be the sum of these because you have an interest rate. And so obviously you're going to be making more money than what you initially deposited. So A, it cannot be the answer, right? Now 200, it cannot be lower than how much you deposited, right? And then three, so it could be either 350 or 325. So, and that one comes down to like, either you know the question and you're gonna try to solve it and, or you're just going to guess and then you have 50 50 percent of getting the right answer okay guys so i hope you enjoyed that problem if you have any questions please leave it in the comments below and i will make sure to address it in the future a lot of problems i go over here it's because people have asked me in the past and don't forget to like subscribe and make sure you share with your friends who might find it helpful thank you guys for watching and i will see you soon à la prochaine